<clears throat> Hello. Hello, everybody. Hello. Welcome back to your one of your favorite knowledge drip, probably your favorite knowledge drip that has ever been produced. This has been, or this is, or is it, or was it? Well, anyways, this is your favorite knowledge drip with Wild Thoughts with your host, The Big Bang. <laughs> Oh man, yes, welcome. Hello everybody. Welcome back. It's been like a couple days since we've done a knowledge drip. And we've done a couple great things since then. So, as we begin to ponder on to this show, and we begin to ponder on our life and wonder what the meaningless facts of life is. What's the point of going here? What's the point of going there? What is the reason behind getting the money so that you can afford to live in an apartment what is the reason for doing anything i don't know that answer because the answer for me is doing it just because i think i should be doing it or i know i should be doing it or i'm manifesting that i should be doing it and then i do it Everything in this world is uh, pretty simple for the most part. It's easy to wake up in the morning if your heart's still beating. It's easy to fall asleep at night if you want to. It's easy to drink your water. It's easy to go to a job every morning. It's easy to... Turn your car on, drink water, drink Mountain Dew, have a nice little AC, listen to good music. It's all easy. But that doesn't mean that it should be easy. That doesn't mean that everyone should be living their lives as a human being, a human becoming. <laughs> Whew. Because in this self world, this self worth world, where everybody is apparently living their best life but willing to jump in front of a truck as it drives past you on the freeway. Are we really living our best lives? Are we really striving to experience our best mind? Are we really using our tools and our abilities to our, our fashion? Are we using it to be distributed throughout the world? Or are we using it for our selfish intents because we think that one thing is more important than the other thing? Do we think that the green dollar bill is more important than the green food? Do we think that the gasoline, now that the price is so high, I'm going to talk about the damn gasoline again. It's like 245 here in the state of Florida. Damn people blowing up their oil rigs for money. Whew. You know, if you don't know what I'm talking about, you can listen to it. You can go find out some of that information on your own because we don't we're not going to talk about what's going on in the, in the world of uh, gas prices, but they're going up. So just make sure you guys fill up your tank now, but it won't matter because of how much we have to drive, drive here, drive there, drive everywhere, drive for work, drive for groceries, drive for this, drive for that. And I don't know, man, maybe this world should be easy. Maybe this world should be hard. I don't know. That's for you to decide, really. It depends on what you want to do with your life. It depends on what you tell yourself. If you tell yourself things should be hard in order to be successful. In order to be what you think is successful for you. For me, I don't think it's hard to be successful because I do what I like to do. And when I do what I like to do, I know that I'm being successful. Even if it's just the tiny little things like recording this knowledge drip for all the great leaders out there. And all the great leaders out there are doing the same thing for their people, too. They're trying to become. They're trying to be. They're trying to be the leaders that they need to be. <laughs> and you just got to keep keep on keeping on. Just be. Just let it is. Because your manifestations, your self-worth, your body, your invisible mind, it's all not really truly there all the time. It can't be truly there. For if it was truly there, then you would truly understand that you were truly, truly being, truly 
sacrificed into the greater good to produce the next plant life, to produce the next human life, to produce the next AI life, whatever it is. Your transgression, your your fetal heart, your heartbeat, your fetal breath, your your fa your fatigued eyes, your strained eyes, your strained cars, your strained bank accounts, as some of you might say, your strained kitchen because it doesn't have enough food to feed you because you don't look around. Maybe you got something to eat, but you don't know because you're estranged. You're estranged from the feeling of what life is. You're think that you should be successful traveling the beaches seeing the world going here going there going everywhere except for within yourself you probably spend hours and hours listening to some type of music listening to someone talk listening to a passion that you enjoy listening to TV shows listening to talk radio shows on the on the internet on the TVs on the AM FM on the radio tune the dials but how often do you sit down and do you look at the person that is sitting across from you in a mirror how often do you know thyself man how often do you find yourself cleverly not putting makeup on in the mirror when you're looking I know that it's easy to put a mask on and I've talked about putting a mask on before putting a mask on and shining through that mask and that's all right to put the mask on it really is I know a lot of people say take that mask off trust me keep your fucking mask on we don't want to know who you really are because you don't want to know who you really are and if you don't want to know who you really are, then why would I, why the fuck would I want to know who you really are? Why the hell would you want to know who you really are? Why would you take the time to see what an island breeze feels like when you could feel what the breeze over the side of a freeway feels like? Why would you take time to see and watch trees grow when you can watch your favorite show on your couch. Why would you take the time to flow down a river when you could flow in your mind at your home, at your place, at a park with a bunch of people that you don't know? Why would you do that? Why would you try anything in this world if you didn't want to be very successful at it or if you didn't believe you were successful at it? Why would you try? These questions I'm asking are some of the thoughts that have run across my mind mostly throughout the day as we sit out and watch the beautiful world un unravel before our eyes. Sit back and watch the beautiful people flow their mindset across the oceans, across the seas, across the airs, always trying to get somewhere, across the, across the lanes of the highway, always trying to get somewhere just to return back to the what they want to call a home, a safe place, a place of knowing, a place of being, a place where they can rest their eyes, a place where we can all rest our eyes. And I know that's true because I do the same thing, man. All we want to do is get to a place where we can rest our eyes. But for the most part, we forget that our eyes are resting when we stop thinking, when we stop being. When we start, when we start, <laughs> when we stop controlling, how can you relax if you're controlled? How can you enjoy the island breeze or the freeway breeze if you're controlled? Always thinking about something, thinking about debts, thinking about people, thinking about how other people are affecting your life. How can you stop and control this island breeze, this freeway breeze? This jet lag freeze brain. As we get up in the morning and we leave the people that we think we know. Every morning. And we go to a place where we think we know people. To come back to a place where we think we know people. But truly, who do you really know? 
truly, who are you with every minute of the day? Truly, who is breathing your every air? Who is breathing your every breath? Who is seeing every thought? Who is thinking every thought for you? You must take care of yourself. You must understand that the breeze way of life comes through your eyes. It comes through your ears. It comes through your nose. It comes through your mouth. And sometimes it comes out of your nose. Sometimes it comes out of your mouth. Sometimes it comes out of your uh, urethra or your or your asshole, whatever you want to call it. Sometimes it comes out there. But still, when you control all these things, you're by yourself for the most part. And, you know, happiness and passion and deserting and loneliness and fleeting time and fleeting breath aching bones is all you have and that's all you'll ever get no matter how much you manifest no matter how much money you make no matter how much food you have no matter how many places you traveled no matter how many things you've seen you have a fading breath inside of you a fading breath that is going to be seen a fading breath that's going to be heard a fading breath that will destroy anything in its path the fading breath the fading of your breath the fading of my breath the freighting the freighting (laughs) the freight trains of breath in and out constantly the river flows constantly through the lungs and you don't want to take care of your body for 10 minutes You don't want to take care of yourself for 10 minutes. You're so worried about making sure that everyone else is happy. You're worried about this. You're worried about this. You're worried about the future, the future, the future, the future. What's coming in the motherfucking future. You're worried what's coming in this motherfucking future. Well, let me tell you what's coming to the future. More breaths, if you're lucky. More eyesight. More food. More money. More clothes. More cars. More gas. More sunlight. More water. More AC. As our beautiful AC turns on, you know how we love to talk about the AC, the abundance of the AC. You know, life is going to be great for you. Life is going to be good for you if you want it to be. Life is going to be that of a box of chocolates. Always different. But really, it's not that motherfucking different. Because we go through, we go through, we go through because we go, hey, we're not going to die today. We're not going to die tomorrow. I'm going to live till I'm 97. I'm going to live till I'm 105. Until you get on that breezeway of life, that breeze of the beach, and you see that tsunami, is that what they call it? Big big old wave or whatever the big waves are. I don't know what they call them, but you could look out. You might be able to see a big old wave out there. And that wave is coming for you. But you know why? Because you have something else to do. The earth has something else to do with your body. And it's coming for you. So don't pretend. Don't act. Don't enjoy the fact of next week. Don't enjoy the fact of next year. Don't enjoy the trips that you're going to take in the future. If you can't enjoy your present breath today. Right now while you take care of yourself. Because no matter what. No matter how many family members, no matter how many friends, no matter how many wives, girlfriends, boyfriends, whatever you want to call them, no matter how many you have, there's always going to be one more. And that's always you. The person that comes back to you over and over again. The person that says, hey, I'm going to live till I'm 95. Self-delusion. Self-granger, is that what they call it? I don't know. You know what I'm talking about. Self 
worth, self-pity, self-destruction, self-breezes. <laughs> I don't know why I'm really... Actually, I know exactly why I'm stuck on that word. Breeze, the island breeze. I was standing next to a freeway all day. And on that side of the freeway, I see tons of cars, tons of cars. Drive by, drive by, drive by. Rat race, rat race, rat race. But, you know, it's not really a rat race. Because rats don't drive cars. <laughs> rats don't drive cars. Rats don't fly airplanes. The human becomings drive the cars. The human becomings fly the airplanes. So this human race we're on against time, this human race that we think we're going to outlast, out-expire, out-do, out-destroy, it's impossible. The only thing you can really do is sit and not think. You can sit and not breathe you can sit and write until your arms fall off but you'll realize at the end that it's coming for you the tsunami is coming for you as you sit on your island breeze beach and you sip that margarita, the water, the whatever you drink, the, the Coke, the Hennessy, the Crown, the marijuanas of the world. You smoke it, you crack it, you eat it, you light it, and you fight it. But at the end, your heart is going to become part with the world again. It's going to become part of the water again. Your body is continuously in a flow of motion. Your heart is continually in a flow of motion. Your brain will stop that flow of motion. But your heart will continue to beat. Because it wants to flow on with the ocean. But your mind will tell you to stop flowing with the ocean and paddle against it. Paddle away from it. Not see that tsunami coming. Not see the inevitable end of your beautiful, tragic life. This life of hell. This life of us getting polluted by all the cars and our, our water being shrunk down to nothing. You know, just a little sidetrack. From Florida, here where I live in the state of Great Florida. It's always sunshiny, but the water, they're having a problem with the water here, I guess. Running out of bottled water, that's what they say. And that's all right to run out of bottled water because if you guys know, you can always go get like one of those little straws with a little charcoal filter and all that other good stuff. And you can drink straight from the rivers itself. If you don't have bottled water, there's always solutions. There's always enough. There's always an abundance. So don't let them scare you. Don't let them intimidate you. Don't let them put that fear into your heart. That's your brain fear. That's not your heart fear. That's your brain fear. Keeping you placed, keeping you strapped, keeping you... Afraid that you're going to lose something that is not even yours. Afraid that you're going to maybe not gain something that is not even yours. For how can you sit here and say that your body is yours when it surely flushes down the toilet so easy? <laughs> when it comes out of your dick hole down out of your dick hole and into the bushes into the plants i'm telling you your body wants to get back to the water and that's all it's trying to do at all times it's trying to get back to the water that tsunami of life <gasps> oh shit i like where we're going with this guys that tsunami of life this tsunami of uh peace the tsunami of plastic the tsunami of breath, it comes out, it comes in, it goes down and back into the water because that's where it wants to be. For it is an atom and a molecule. For the paper is an atom and a molecule. And for that is where it wants to be. It wants to be back. It wants to be flowing eternally, enjoying the scenes, enjoying the flights. So why not take a trip? Why not conquer your pretend fears that you have in your mind of whatever's holding you back from doing what you want to do? I don't know. Maybe you just got to realize that your self-worth, your self-interest, your self-mind 
is maybe not your own mind, but it is that of all of your surroundings. You are not just an individual floating through this world all alone, floating on this imaginary spaceship, this with these imaginary great bodies that you probably have that can do anything, be anything, destroy anything, create anything. But some of us are still stuck into that fear pattern. We're stuck into the to the life pattern of what is. What is. And then we get stuck again into what is. For the main reason of life is not to live. But it is to create more life so that your body will pass on and continue to give to the next generation of human becomings. If that is not true, then explain history and time. Explain all human breath to me if you understand what it truly is all about. Explain to me what the God force is if you truly know what it's about. Because there's all these people, all these different religions, All these, we're going to change the subject into these religions. All these different beliefs, as you guys know, we call them, people call them beliefs. But here on the Wild Thoughts with your host, The Big Bang, we're getting rid of that word belief. And we go into the word of no, knowing. But let's just, for argument's sake, which we love arguments, let's continue on to this thing of belief, this thing of how everybody wants to get into heaven. But nobody wants to hop onto that tidal wave. Everybody says they want to get into heaven. They want to believe in heaven. They don't know if it's true or not. When it comes to it, they're afraid to say. Then when it comes to the thought of death, they'll say something like, uh, I don't know if there's God, but if there is a God, then I will believe in him if I see him. And there we go again with that word belief, if I see him. But yet man has, uh, a lot of men, a lot of people, a lot of women have found out who the God is, who the God force is. And that God force is the person that's behind the mic. That's the person behind the mirror. That's the person behind your car, whatever type of car you drive. That's the one, that's the person. That's the God that creates that car to move. It's the God that creates everything. It's you. And if it can't be you, then who can it be? You're saying it's an all ever flowing life. It's all ever flowing universe. And that's true. Because everything helps you get out what you need to get in. For example, let's just say paper. And let's say how you can make paper. What's it made out of? Trees and water and what does that tree and water do they create something so you can write your little words on the paper so you can write your little put your little picture on the Instagram or the Facebook it creates these uh, unknown and unseen powers that we take advantage of we don't give proper thanks and we think that it's just us doing it but for without the tree there would be no paper to write on. For without water, there would be no ink to write with. So for you to say, for I to say, for anyone to say that the God force is just within us, can that be so? Can that be corrected? Can you unknowingly know that there is more force out there than just you? Can you unknowingly know the power within you? Can you unknowingly know that everything is you? The trees, the water, the air, the fake birds that fly around, the airplanes, the little ants. For some part of you has been introduced from them. And some part of you has been introduced to them. 
and you continue to believe you're hustling. You continue to believe that you're going to turn out all right. You continue to believe that you will find your place in life. But for real, you're unknown. You're un you're unknown. You're unknown because you're always flowing in and out. Your body leaves you. Your body comes back to you. Your body leaves you. And then it comes back to you. Ugh, yeah. I like that right there. Now that was all straight. I don't even know where all this is coming from, to be honest with you. It's not written down in my books. It's not written down anywhere that I have read yet. This is just coming straight from my mouth into this beautiful blue microphone. <gasps> it's probably because I do a lot of sitting and meditation. So go ahead and like take a quick break because we're almost 30 minutes into this. And I've been having a great old time with this, just figuring out words and putting them together, knowing that the tidal wave is coming for I. And it's not that bad, actually, because I'm not afraid to do what I want to do. Knowing that our time is fleeting like a knife, sitting over our head like a machete, sitting over our head ready to drop, like a AK-47 with the trigger already pulled. And the bullets are whizzing towards you. And there's nothing you can do. And the water's there to drown you. So it can take itself back. <laughs> Alright. Well, we're almost 30 minutes in. You guys know that we normally go only about 30 minutes. I had some writings for you today. But, you know, we're at 30 minutes. And it's only Wednesday. It's a motherfucking hump day. So, guess what? On Thursday, we can do... We can do knitting Thursday here with what I have written down. So let's go ahead and that the 27th minute and 15 minute mark. We're going to go over our instructions for sitting meditation. So go ahead and take a deep breath real quick. We're actually going to start at 27 minutes and 30 seconds. So go ahead and keep breathing. Relax yourself into the ease and comfort of knowing that you are becoming you who you are. And nothing else can stop you. So here's our instructions for sitting meditation. Sit in a comfortable, upright, dignified position. Pay close attention to breath sensations. Remain still. Notice what happens. Notice your responses to what happens. When noticing that attention has drifted away, gently replace attention on sensations of breathing and be kind to yourself. Whew, yes. Guys, this has been one of the greatest knowledge trips that we have actually done so far. You guys are probably like, you say that every time, Big Bang. Every time you say it's the best one you've ever done. And that's because I know that it's the best one I've ever done. Every time I do one, I know that I get a little bit better. <laughs> so let's go ahead and uh, finish today's knowledge drip off with the uh, self-confidence formula. If, if you all have your books with you yet, I don't know if you've gotten it. If you're still listening, if you're a new listener, because there's been a lot of new listeners that have stopped by, especially in this last month. I can't even believe it. This the God force working out there, putting out the good vibes, I guess, the tidal wave and people are people are getting pulled in. <laughs> people are getting pulled in like like the waves, man. The, the just the waves are going out and they're pulling people in. They're pulling these human becomings in. They're pulling leaders out of this uh, amazing little tiny world as we move on and think what is having us fear nothing <sighs> but at the same time how can we fear everything so if you want a thing done well call on some busy person to do it busy people are generally the most painstaking and thorough in all they do a little saying for you before we start our self-confidence formula at the 30 minute mark so go ahead and get out your notebook if you don't have it 
Let's go ahead and start the self-confidence formula. I know that I have the ability to achieve the object of my definite purpose. Therefore, I demand of myself persistent, aggressive, and continuous actions towards its attainment. I realize that the dominating thoughts of my mind eventually reproduce themselves in outward bodily action and gradually transform themselves into physical reality. Therefore, I will concentrate my mind for 30 minutes daily upon the task of thinking of the person I intend to be. By creating a mental picture of this person and then transforming that picture into reality through practical service. I know that through the principle of auto-suggestion, any desire that I persistently hold in my mind will eventually seek expression through some practical means of realizing it. Therefore, I shall devote 10 minutes daily to demanding of myself the development of the factors named in the 16 lessons of this reading course on the law of success. I have clearly mapped out and written down a description of my definite purpose in life. For the coming five years, I have set a price on my service. For each of these five years, a price that I intend to earn and receive through strict application of the principle of efficient, satisfactory service, which I will render in advance. I fully realize that no wealth or position can long endure unless built upon truth and justice. Therefore, I will engage in no transaction which does not benefit all whom it affects. I will succeed by attracting to me the forces I wish to use and the cooperation of other people. I will induce others to serve me because I will first serve them. I will eliminate hatred, envy, jealousy, selfishness, and cynicism by developing love for all humanity. Because I know that a negative attitude towards others can never bring me success. I will cause others to believe in me because I will believe in them and in myself. I will sign my name to this formula, commit it to memory, and repeat it aloud once a day with full faith that it will gradually influence my entire life so that I will become a successful and happy worker in my chosen field of endeavor. Alright guys, I'm about ready to be done. I know you're about ready to be done. Thanks for tuning in to your favorite knowledge drip that is Wild Thoughts with your host The Big Bang. If you want to write into the show, you're more than welcome to. Once again, the email to write into this show is reflife32 at gmail.com. Go ahead. You know how if you write in, I respond to you. I not I might not always put it on the uh, on the podcast or the knowledge drip. I normally don't don't do your little uh, what you tell me onto the onto the emails onto the knowledge drip because I don't care that much. Unless I come across it again in my readings and my writings. But I will respond to you. No problems at all. Also, I do post it though. If you send me something nice through the emails, then I'll post it on my favorite uh, social media app, which is Snapchat. That's the only one I use. I don't use any other ones. I quit the Facebook. I quit everything else. Just mostly Snapchat for now, man. So, guys, until next time, this has been one of my favorite podcasts, one of my favorite knowledge, drip, one of my favorite favorite knowing of knowing that the tidal wave is coming for me. <gasps> oh, man, the laws of success. Until next time, guys, this has been Wild Thoughts with your host, The Big Bang. Bye.